where barbed wire is replaced with wireless collars which tell animals where to go and where not to go. Life has its moments. Oh, you're a mate. Thanks. Moments of drama. Moments of romance. I now declare you to be husband and wife. And moments of laughter. Here's to girlfriends who make you laugh. And to boyfriends <laughs> who make you happy. McLeod's Daughters, Thursday. mark the boundaries of land ownership and prevent stock from leaving your property and trespassing on the neighbours. But in Outback Australia, where some properties are a million square miles, it's simply too expensive to erect or maintain kilometres of fencing. Every time there's a flood, they have to re-fence a cost of fortune. This cumbersome looking collar for cattle may be the fence of the future, designed to tell animals where not to go using warning signals. Yeah, this is a halter that we put on the um, cattle and on either side we have these two small speakers for the audio. We have a cell phone battery here to provide uh, vibration. Okay, Chris, can we uh, do the audio, please, for collar two? Okay, here it is. And the vibration. Uh, Chris, can you do the mild electric shock for setting one at, for one second, please? All right, here we go. The collar is activated by radio signal, setting a virtual fence marked only by satellite points rather than barbed wire. So let's use uh, audio for three seconds. Let's um, use the shock for level three for one second. As the cow walks down the trial alley, the collar delivers a series of signals to warn the animal as it approaches the invisible fence line. If the animal ignores the warning and crosses the imaginary line, it's startled by an electric shock. The animal changes direction just as it would have to if it came up to a real fence. The electric pulse lasts no more than three seconds and the voltage is much lower than if it had run into an electric fence, something that happens all the time on farms. Uh, I think an electric fence has got up uh, to around 10 kV, so 10 kilovolts. So this is the highest level that we've ever given an animal and that's about around 880 volts peak to peak there. So that's 0.8 of a kilovolt. In this experiment the cattle attempted to ignore the warning signals and push through the virtual fence and the electric pulse by the promise of food and friends at the far end of the trial alley. The second time an animal is sent through almost all remember what happened last time and resist the rewards ahead probably 70 or 80 percent of them will will just stand and and not go past the line they learn that uh, if they get the sound or the vibration and they don't go any further that they won't get the uh, electrical impulse it teaches them that they shouldn't go past that point and and they seem to respond to that fairly quickly it is a good sign it means it's working it means even got this encouragement uh, there the other cattle are on the other side, the food's on the other side, but they just stand there waiting. This world first technology is being developed by the CSIRO in Queensland. And you've got uh, two batteries, one other side, here and here. And down the bottom you've got the box full of electronics. I think the whole thing probably weighs about a couple of kilos and the animal weighs about 300 kilos. And basically this has a GPS receiver right here. These two are a three-axis accelerometer and these two are a three-axis magnetometer. Well basically the accelerometers uh, basically tell you where gravity is and the magnetometers uh, act like a digital compass. And we've got the CPU here which is the brains of this whole thing. 
The challenge is for this tiny computer to process the sophisticated calculations needed for a landowner to be able to program the collar from his office, to set imaginary boundaries in his paddocks. The software side of things will get a lot more complicated. So basically, the algorithm will need to take into account uh, the animal's position, basically obtained from the GPS, and also uh, its heading uh, respect to uh, the Earth's magnetic field, magnetic north. And uh, basically, um, when the animal's sort of heading towards the fence, um, that's when it will need to be applied. And when the animal turns away, that's when we really want to stop applying any cues to the animal because it's heading away back into the paddock. The computer has to determine that. Unlike the traditional fence, the virtual fence doesn't have to run in a straight line. So you could follow a river, fence off an environmentally sensitive area, or fence livestock in to the best area of feed in a paddock. The virtual fence is also permanently portable. So with a click of a mouse, you could move cattle to wherever you wanted them to be.